Now, my first guest created one of the most memorable characters in film history with his Oscar-nominated portrayal of Sonny Corleone in The Godfather, the greatest movie ever made. Uh, this Friday, the classic movie will be re-released in theaters across the country on its 25th anniversary. You know, I like to see the Corleones meet those Star Wars guys. He's <laughs> around, huh? Please welcome the one, the only, the irrepressible James Caan. Uh, well, I, I'm excited about this, right? About this re-release? Uh, no, about the people here. It's great. Uh, I gotta ask you something. Now, to me, I love this. This movie was great to me. I, I just thought, when you were making it, did you know it was a classic? Or was it like, eh, they want me to do this gangster picture? I mean, you know what I'm saying? To what? be serious, yeah. I, no. What, we, what I did know is that, which is rare, that... Uh, you know, everybody liked one another, <laughs> yeah. which doesn't happen quite often. Now, does that not happen? Do you ever, do you no. get to movie set to first day you don't like this guy? I find myself over the, you know, the years, it was 25 years ago, I don't remember very much, but uh, <laughs> I do remember that there was a certain pride, you know, in the process and the yeah. product and all the actors liked one another and the technicians were great, Francis is the greatest, you know. So uh, we knew that and we had a lot of fun and nope. that somehow you know, always comes out. Was it intense or was it, was it no, fun? No, we, like we worked hard, jokes but we had everybody? a lot of practical jokes yeah. and a lot of fun. And, uh, and uh, but, you know, if we knew it was a hit, the studios could make a fortune and say, let's ask that idiot actor if he thinks it's going to be a hit, you know, and uh, if he doesn't think so, we won't put any money in it. We got money they could make, you know? Did guys, we don't know anything, you know. But I mean? nobody made big money on that picture back then, did they? Uh, well, Brando probably, but. No, nobody, nobody uh, let me put it to you this way. I got four corned beef sandwiches, I think. Was no, come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, uh, Francis did okay. You know, yeah. Francis did okay. He but, got to buy two suits. You but know? most of the guys, there's a couple of thousand. I mean, not, not, no, we, not, not what uh, actors to be honest, get We made 35,000 each. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, today that would be... A, today see. that would be 40, 50,000. Huh? No, no. That, <laughs> no, you are. Yeah, I could have, you know, I could have, I could have gone to Palm Springs for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of thing, what kind of jokes did you guys pull on the set? What type? Uh, joke. I mean, first of all, the guys were, I mean, Brando was, was fantastic. You know, Brando was, he was like a, was he intimidating? He was great, well, he was at first, because everybody was in awe, you know. Right. You know. But he's like a 12-year-old. I, mean, I, I was like the appointed clown, I guess. And, and uh, you know, I tell a joke like at noon, and everybody laughs except Marlon, you know. Um, <laughs> And then about two hours later, in the middle of a scene, he goes, <laughs> I said, what? He goes, I just got it. You know, he thought about it. <laughs> Very intense. I remember we, we had, um, uh, you remember Luca Brazzi? Luca uh, Brazzi. Lenny Montana, great, great guy. He, he's passed away, rest his soul. But this guy was huge. I mean, he was 350 right, pounds. Right at the beginning of the picture, the guy that goes, honey, no, what are you doing? Don Corleone. Yeah. 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 So... Francis came to me, he said, this guy, you know how he said, he said, Don Corleone, I am honored to be here on the day of your daughter's wedding. May her first child be. He said, can you loosen him up a little, Jimmy? You know, I mean, get him loose. So I said, gee, you know, I said, Lenny, come here. I knew him, you know, from the streets. <laughs> we knew each other. <laughs> and I said, Lenny, come here, do me a favor. And I, he had a tongue that looked like an oar. I mean, it was huge, this guy. <laughs> and and uh, I got a piece of tape, and I put it on his tongue, and I wrote, F you on it, you know? <laughs> I said, when you go in the door and you go, Don Corleone, you know, stick your tongue. And everybody laughed. He goes, oh, please, Jimmy, don't make me do this. Don't. They're, no, just do it, Lenny. You know, just do it. And he did it, which, you know, further, you know, they thought Sonny was really tough making this guy do it. So he went and, and he said, Don Corleone. And everybody laughed. Brando laughed. You know, it was great. Thought he'd loosen him up. So now Francis says, okay, let's, you know, let's do it again. And he came in. And he again said, Don Corleone, I am honored to be here. And then Marlon went, Buka. And he had F U 2. So we had, we had some fun. That's you, probably not the funniest story, you know. No, 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 no. It's, you know, it's a, not a guffaw, but we, it's a joke. But your, your death scene is one of the famous death scenes. And me as a car guy, seeing that 41 Lincoln get blown yeah. up, I, I couldn't. Have. But you, you must have taken, what, well, you get machine gunned at the toll booth. It's yeah. like, -da -da -da, I mean, I, I never seen anybody get hit with. Were you wearing those? those oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 147 of them, I believe. But they call them. Squids. And we didn't have 9/11 in those days. You know what I mean? There was no 9/11. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, everything and what they, flew. They're like, they're like they little were, uh, firecrackers. Like they little, came to your body, uh, right? Little brass casings uh, with the gunpowder in it. Right. And then a little sack filled with blood. And they were all sewn into my suit and all over. And, and, uh, and I had to be careful not to get my hands in front of it. So it was like choreographed, like a dance. Right, right. And I remember, this, I think his name was A.D. Flowers. He had, I had these wires running out of my legs, you know? And as he was fixing me up, he said, you know, I've never, I've done a hundred and whatever pictures. He says, I've never put this many squibs on a guy. And I said, you had to pick this moment, you know, to tell me that, you know. <laughs> you could have saved that for a little while, yeah. So, Dude, it was a great, great experience. When you would go to, like, New York, yeah. would guys think you're Italian? Would Italian guys come up to you and, and just assume that you're sunny? I mean, did you get a lot of, hey, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, well, I you're still a tough guy. Today. I know you can take care of yourself. But did you get a lot of that? Was that a big problem? Guys yeah. pushing you around? And yeah. I remember, I remember one time uh, in a golf tournament, some guy, I couldn't believe this guy came and he hit, he, he just took a swing at this little guy. <laughs> yeah. And I stepped in between him. And he went, no, Sonny, no. You know, I said... <laughs> The guy thought he was going in cement shoes, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we I have a clip. Embarrassed. Let's show this clip. This is a great clip. This is, this is I'll have to the, take your word for is it. it you this, know, this is you and Michael when Michael uh, says he's going to go in the Army. I can't remember. It was so long. Let's take a look. What are you going to do? Nice college boy, huh? Didn't want to get mixed up in the family business? Huh? Now you want to gun down a police captain? Why? Because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? What do you think? This is the Army where you shoot him a mile away? You got to get him close like this. And bing! You blow their brains all over your nice cyber league suit. Come in. Mwah. You're taking this very personal. Tom, this is business, and this man is taking it very, very personal. Where does it say that you can't kill a cop? Come on, Mikey. Tom, wait a minute. I'm talking about a cop that's mixed up in drugs. I'm talking about a, a, a dishonest cop, a crooked cop who got mixed up in the rackets and got what was coming. That's a terrific story. And we have newspaper people on the payroll, don't we, Tom? And they might like a story like that. They might. They just might. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. Not personal. Does it seem like uh, 25 years ago? No. I think that scene. I, I think that scene. I was trying to convince Al not, not to, you know, not to do that, so that Sonny would have a bigger part. Because <laughs> if he didn't do it, you know, I could have been there long. I wouldn't have got killed. <laughs> I'm a little selfish, all right. I'm a little How are the kids selfish. doing? Good. How many kids you got? Four? Yeah, I have uh, a daughter, 31. I have Scott, 20. I have Alex, five and a half. And I have Jimmy Jr. a year in a couple months. So what you're saying is you have sex one, about what I'm saying is I need an have. operation. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck to you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. James Conn, be right back with Jennifer Lopez right after this.